doesn't have egg, milk, cheese, so why, butter, so why is it vegetarian? The thing about places like this to me that are so difficult is that there's so many different food options. I like, I just, I didn't, I just don't know what to eat. Her name is Maza. Maza. <laughs> <laughs> Thaddeus, brother. Who? Thaddeus. Thaddeus. Thaddeus, the T. All right, all right. What's you your got, name? You got, a, you got a channel? I do. Welcome back to Nomadius. The name I chose is Thaddeus. I'm here, still in the UK, in Edgeware. And I'm taking you guys just on another journey today. We're headed to, we'll let you find out. But, you know, I just wanna give you a little bit of a, you know, day in the life video. Try some, something else out that I'm, I don't usually do. Drop a little gems here and there along the way. So make sure to stay tuned right here on Nomadius. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, share. Much love and respect. Let's go. Okay, so I'm crossing the street now. And one thing about crossing the street in the UK or transportation in general in the UK is whether you may or may not know, some of you may know, I've never experienced, things are opposite than the US. So right now when I cross the street, usually coming from that side, I would look to my, I would look to my left first. I'd look to my left first, expecting cars closest to be coming that way. And the other way, uh, cars to be coming from my right. But here it's the opposite. So where right now the car just came on my right closest to me and then furthest from me from my left. So opposite, so I'm still getting used to that. It's a bit challenging. Uh, as you know, the wheel, look at this guy passing by. This is on that side of the car. Look, look right here. The truck, he's on the other side. Even the escalators are on the opposite side. The way the train comes and you go is on the opposite side in the US. My mom was saying, wow, like, it's not supposed to be like this, like, you know? how the US is designed, but then I got me thinking like, who's to say which is right? Who's to say ours is right? Who's to say theirs is right? It's just a matter of relativity. If you live like this your whole life, what would you know the difference? If you spoke with an English accent your whole life, never heard any other accent, you wouldn't even know you had an accent. If I talked like this my whole life and never heard any other language or accent, I wouldn't know that there'd be anything different. So, love traveling because it gives you that perspective of mind to think and remove your biases and appreciate the way that energy and life takes form in many different environments. Take a look, take a look, take a look, take a look. Maybe you recognize where I'm at. Here, Puerto Bello Market. I could start with the history. I could start with the different places. 
but first I'm gonna start with me taking in the environment because as someone who travels and is here to share the experience of traveling with you, I gotta take it in myself first to really give you a more authentic experience or else I'm just, I'm kinda just going along with you. So let me take this in, but it's so far it seems really cool. It's got over 1,000 uh, different, not necessarily shops, but like dealers as you can see around me. Um, got their own like booth set up. So it looks super cool. I came here on the Saturday, which is the uh, most, it's pretty much their trading marketing day. Um, so let me just take this in real quick and I'll come back to you guys. Mom is in this crystal store right now because she loves her crystals. So I'm gonna check out those crystals. Get the good energy, the good vibes up. You know what I mean? Thaddeus, brother. Who? Thaddeus. 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 T. Alright, alright. What's your you name? Got, you, got a, you got a channel? I do. That's my mother. Try it, Sarah. Look at you. Try it. Try chicken. Look at you. Try it. continues to order let me just give you guys a little bit of a history of uh, this is the Portobello Road Market okay now I'm in the food section there's about five different sections so Portobello Road Market is found here in the heart of London it claims to be the largest antique market in the world notice how I said claim because one thing I learned about being in the land of the, you know the Brits is they like to uh, steal uh, a lot of things, a lot of names, a lot of artifacts, a lot, you know, you know. So we'll, we'll just we'll just go with the claims for now because when they come to our country, they like to say that we claim to have the Ark of the Co Covenant. You know, the the list goes on and on. So we're just gonna throw it right back onto them. This place uh, used to be in the 19th century known for being a fresh food market and has uh, socially developed has. Uh, obviously, uh, infrastructure-wise, developed. It's changed a lot over the years. I'm going from a, a place that was for you know everyday people to buy and enjoy, it's turned to more of a posh kind of place um, where you can find antiques, where you can find food, you can find clothing. The list goes on and on and on and on. Uh, so now it's known for a lot of the uh, films that have been filmed here. Uh, a lot of celebrities and you know, people more of what you we'll say uh, financial wealth will come to these kind of areas. I'm here to just take in the culture and learn about one of the must-see places here in London. So while my mom gets some food here at the Afghani food place named after my mom. My mom was the first mom to ever create <laughs> I'm just gonna keep touring around and see the different sectors. The thing about places like this to me that are so difficult is that there's so many different food options. I like, I just, 
I didn't. I just don't know what to eat. And I feel like every time I get something to eat, I'm like never that fully satisfied. I feel like I could have had something else. So <laughs> I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna hope that today, just pray for me that I find something that I really, 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 really enjoy. Okay. What's so cool about Portobello Road Market is it consists of five different sections, all right? So right now, we started in the food market where you can buy uh, fruits, vegetables, and also just like fresh food, things sold like this. We've got the vintage section. We've got the household essential section. There's the clothing and fashion section. Or, and then we've also got the antiques section. So for a total of five sections and over 1,000 different dealers and shops, this Portobello Road Market is a really, really cool place. I've never seen, I think I mentioned it before, but it's my first time seeing such a diversity of people, food, things, yeah, Rocky food, Afghan food, Turkey, China, French, Italian, uh, Peruvian, Venezuelan, Spanish, Jamaican. I keep going, I keep going. It's so cool. I really love this place. I'm really enjoying my time here. So if you're enjoying checking this out with me too, make sure to hit that like button right now. I still haven't decided on my food yet. <laughs> I told you it's hard for me, so I'll make my decision right now and I'll get back to it. Taste test. How do you feel, Mom? How's the Iraqi food? Tastes good? Oh. <laughs> Cheers! 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 Sarah, how's the coffee? Babur, you gotta mic that down. Coffee's good. Sarah had some. We got Afghan. We got Afghan on the table. We got Iraq on the table. And we got turkey on the table. So the coffee's nice. Alright. Taste test number one, let's go for it. Oh. That's really, really, really good. Best food, best food I've had so far here. Really? Very delicious. More curious. Yeah. Ooh, this is really good. This is really good. As a traveler, you gotta make your mind up. Am I going left? Am I going right? Am I going straight? Am I gonna eat here? Am I not gonna eat here? Am I gonna drink water now? Or what am I gonna do? Whenever you're traveling, you gotta make up your mind. Today, it paid off. Sometimes it might not always pay off, but you can learn from that. All I want now is coffee and then we we'll call it a day after we go through some other shops we'll show you guys everything today stay tuned <laughs> we have arrived at the vintage section let's 
take a walk through, see what's so, you know, so poppin' about this area. Oh. I ran through that food also. But you guys know that food was so good. As we keep walking down Portobello Road, really enjoyed this place. It really is quite magnificent. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. It's getting really cold, so I gotta put my hands in my pockets, keep them warm. I still want some fingers after this, so I can keep, you know, giving you guys some more videos. So I hope you enjoyed the ride to our destination here at Portobello Road Market here in the heart of London. I had a great time. I had some great food. I met some great people. Great vibes out here. Very diverse. And I'm just going to continue down this road until we head back home. Take a train. A uh, bus home. A couple buses home. Double decker bus. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe. Share. Much love and respect to you for tuning in to this journey. And remember, to your continued support, we're going to continue to keep changing the narrative through my journey, your journey, and our journey. Whew. Yeah, mom, I'm getting cold. We got to wrap it up. <laughs>